I saw her again. Yesterday. For the first time in so long. It was her. She came in for some soul. Soul? Fancy, she never used to like it. Then she never used to like me, so you should never give up hope. I remember the first time I saw her in here, all those years ago. She shuffled in, not really looking at anyone, speaking so softly. She looked lost. I thought I caught her eye, but she didn't seem to notice me. The woman in my photograph, Jane. Of course, I say woman, but it's her. she's a lady. Graceful, elegant, passionate. You can't tell that from the photograph. You have to see her in the flesh. Otherwise, it could be anyone. <coughs> it's just a photograph you forget, you see. I was so excited. That first time I saw her in here. But that wasn't the special thing. It's all right. It was when she left. I knew. It was afterwards when I realised <laughs> I missed her. Oh, I missed her. I could have spent forever speaking to her and never run out of things to say. Suddenly she was gone. I yearned for her to come back. Not back. Sweetheart, come back. I long for her like a piece of me is missing. That first time she shuffled in, it was only well three days afterwards, and really I was just getting used to this place myself. All places for me to end up. But I was so pleased. I almost cried. No need to be scared, love. Although you can see that she wasn't crying. My love was crying. I wanted to wrap her in my arms and never let her go, just to look after her, just to protect her. I wanted to give her a hug, but that wouldn't work. And I tried to speak to her, but that's never been easy. I just wanted her to notice me. I love her so much. You know, people sometimes think that it's the nights that are the hardest. When you're a prime someone that you want to be with so much. But actually they're comforting. We're both under that same moon, looking up at the same twinkles in the same sky. When she falls asleep, does she see me? And then the second time she came in, she smiled. And I was so happy. Hey, Cameron! And then every time after that, she got happier, and more relaxed. And I stopped trying so hard to speak to her. Beautiful woman like her. What does she want to be speaking to someone like me for? Stuck here in a fish shop. And then one time, she dropped her wallet and out spilled all sorts of things. Both the money rolling everywhere on the floor, the, the new type of money. So confusing. And with all that money on the floor, I expect she was distracted. Because out fell this photograph from her purse. Fluttered out under the counter here. She left. It's just a photograph you forget. You see? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Came in with a man. Pollocks. That's what they asked. And then usually she would turn left to head home. But they went off the other way that day. 
and she was laughing. And my heart swelled and raced to see her so happy and broke. Because it wasn't me there with her. And then I didn't see her for a long time. I looked out, out for her every day. Jane, where are you? I hope you're all right, my love. If you look at the photograph, you can see the shape of her face. I love that face. It glows. The mouth, so real, so soft. Like her hands, with the ring that I gave her, matching mine. I miss her. I miss her. Why did I have to die here so long ago and leave her behind? And yesterday, here she is. She shuffled in, not really looking at anyone, speaking so softly. And I said, Jane, I'm here, my love. No need to be so scared. Oh, she didn't hear me. You know, most of them don't when they get that old. But it was her, I'm sure of it, come back to see me. I'm lost, she said. I only came in here for my soul. And then she went, slowly, back to our house. And I wondered, when she goes to sleep, will she see me?